Did I enjoy the Fallout 76 beta? Let's talk about that. Oh, you like fight? You like fight me, Super Mutant? This is footage from a stream, so it does get blurry at times and cuts out. So sorry about that. Good morning, Vault 76. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. I don't remember a party. Man, that must have been a good party. And overslept. The short answer to whether or not I enjoyed the game would be yes. The first thing I'm going to look at here is the character customization. It's pretty much the exact same thing as Fallout 4. Um, you just pick a default and then you go in and adjust the different sizes and all that jazz. It's pretty straightforward. Let's see what I came up with. She is looking good. There is going to be a mixture of uh, chat from when I was actually playing and from now when I'm editing it together just to let you know. Die, robots! Sick of your crap, robots. Robots. How do you like my new outfit? <laughs> oh, Lord, why is she gray? <laughs> why is her body gray? Oh, yeah. Flesh. Well, I mean, she's been in a vault for however long. The leveling up system is pretty straightforward. You just pick whichever one you want to upgrade, and then you'll get a card selection. The only thing I didn't realize at first was there's a filter at the bottom that you can switch between. So I kept thinking I only had two cards to choose from. But actually later on realized if you cl click their left bumper or right bumper, there's more. The game seemed to run pretty smoothly for the most part. It did stutter occasionally and lag. And I did have a few random bugs like this right here. I kept trying to hit this bug and I was like, why won't it die? And later on I asked my friend and he was like, oh there's no bug there. So there's like invincible enemies that only you can see occasionally. So that's kind of weird, but not really a big deal. Here's Johnny! Like I said, I did enjoy playing the game. At the beginning, you're kind of just running around and honestly the footage is kind of boring so I am just cutting a lot out. I'm going to skip closer to the end of the gameplay, where we were higher level. Are you all good inside? Humans, so small, so oh, I hear super mutants. I hear the super mutants, mertents. Are you coming in here? That makes oh, four. it's a level you 10 super mutant. To smash. Oh boy. So Uh-oh. This might be bad. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. I'm barely doing any damage to these guys. A lot of shotgun shells. Quest completed. Yep. That was easy. Ah! Oh, balls. Beat up over here. I have a bunch of super mutants shooting at me. Oh, yeah, 
outside. Inside. About to die. I'm dead. <laughs> come, come get oh, me. Jerry. I didn't have any more stim packs. The eating and drinking mechanic in the game is really not that big a deal. I mean, it took an hour before I realized I Oops. needed to eat anything in the game. I gotta eat. I didn't really notice oh. at first, but if you look at the bottom corner, I actually have an AP cap going on. And I'm a I believe that's because my character was hungry. So I guess that's the negative effect if you just run around and don't eat. One thing that's kind of annoying is the layout of the, the menu. I wish they had like a separate menu for food items, drink items, and like first aid items. Because like scrolling around in there, especially if, you know, there's people trying to shoot at you and stuff to try to find something to heal yourself is pretty annoying. I know I've heard other people complaining about that as well. A lot of, uh, so literally right after I hit level 5, there was a guy that came up and he was wanted. So I'll just kind of let it play and show you, what, let you see what happens. Oh, did you, does this guy attack you or something? Oh no, he's wanted. <laughs> I just killed a wanted guy. <laughs> so apparently, if you kill a wanted player, they have the option to seek revenge. Which seems a little strange, because I just assumed, oh, I killed the wanted guy, alright, I'm done. I, and I just walk over here and decide I'm gonna, you know, scrap some items because I'm over encumbered. And he literally runs up and kills me while I'm in the menu, because I didn't realize he'd be able to just come up and initiate a new fight. It wasn't really a big deal, but it seems kind of odd. <laughs> he's just looking at me. Yo! He's, he's trying to kill me while I'm... Is him taking damage from him? Yeah, yeah. You, you should have shot him. I didn't know. <laughs> Bop! <laughs> hey. Bop! <laughs> he's trying to run away. <laughs> Take an L. Did he kill? Did he kill you? I killed him. Bop. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? Let me take all your slow things, bro. Hey, he had so much slow. Hey, Trevor. Well, Trevor. It's because he stole my stuff. I'm coming. Is he still there? Yes. No. If he hit me anymore, I would have died. <laughs> I have like no hope. <laughs> hey, I think I see him in the distance. Yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> when is he gonna learn, bro? You do not. Power up. It's just a no no. This guy was very persistent. He just kept coming back and trying to kill us. And because of the revenge thing, he can press it and just keep trying to kill you. Yeah, I hear him. And right here, I'm about to just mess up and press all the wrong buttons. And I'm pretty sure he was using the VAT system, and I just. I just was having a horrible time trying to get that to work. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh wow. For some reason I'm pressing the trigger to shoot him. I have bullets, but it's just not shooting. So I'm like, just sitting there taking damage. And I keep pressing the wrong button. He's like right next to me. Come finish him off. What are you doing? Where are you at? 
close to the end, I decided to try a little bit of the building just to kind of see how it works. So let's just show you what you can do here at the beginning. Oh, look at that. I can totally build. I'm going to build a little, I'm just going to do a little building over here. Like a little hut. Uh, not a hut, but just something to uh, put some crafting stuff on real quick. Because I want to see what it's like. Armory workbench. Alright. Weapons workbench. Okay. A cooking pot. Come look at no my little uh, little building over here. Hey, I'm trying to find power armor for you. Oh, aren't you just the nicest person around? Shouldn't be that hard. Oof, more super mutants. Oh, he just threw a Molotov at me. Oh, he's level 10, what the frick? Oh, a stash box. Yeah. Oh, no. I need more wood, though, now. Wow, I'm dumb. That's, that's how you do it. Alright, well, I'm gonna be going into the super mutant base. Wait for me, I'm coming. You gonna fast travel on me? Yeah, I, I made a storage box. So now, I won't weigh 10 million pounds. Yeah. Eight. Oh jeez, it's a level 16 with a crown on it. You might want to watch out behind you. He's in the next room over, but he's, he's a big scary guy. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's up. Yeah. Uh. Run away! Bother me! It didn't be so bad, it didn't take time to live in here. Where'd he go? Is he fighting? Oh, he is. Get him! Dead. I don't think it gave me the kill though, that was kind of weird. Oh, look at this thing. It's a big protectron. Here's a tip for building a camp. Don't put it somewhere where a bunch of super mutants spawn. Oh, apparently there's enemies here. Right? Really? Oh boy. Maybe this isn't the best place for a camp. Crap. Yeah. There's a lot of them over here. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. 
and oh, I couldn't even I, I couldn't even move. Right. <laughs> I couldn't even move, so I just got shot like <laughs> Watch your thumbs. Well, I guess it's time to give up. And, well, I didn't really think about there being super mutants right there. That's pretty much my beta experience in a nutshell. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, then don't. Bye. <laughs> oh no, get away from me, you disgrace. Oh, you like fight. You like fight me, super mutant. Oh, I was going to help you out. <laughs>